Hey, Internet! It's Paul. It's Matt, the Dork Lords. We are here today talking about Episode 7, Season 1 of the Disney Plus Star Wars show, The Acolyte. Episode entitled, Choice. The penultimate episode. Penultimate, indeed. Uh, we open with a return to the flashback from Episode 3. Yeah, don't you just love it? I know, I know. We thought this was going to happen earlier, so I guess we we knew this was coming at some point. Uh, it, in fact, was episode seven. Um, and much like episode three, the entire episode is a flashback. Um, our four intrepid Jedi have been on Brendock for seven weeks. So they have not come to the planet to investigate May and Osha. They've been unsuccessfully attempting to discover the cause of the planet's sudden flourishing of life. Kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Star Trek episode. You know, like, according to my tricorder readings, I sense (laughs) that there are a lot of tricorder uh, metal detectoring going on. Um, But as opposed to a Genesis device, a la uh, Star Trek II, um, there is a virgence of the Force, supposedly, that is causing this flourishing of life. Uh, the virgence is almost certainly how the twins were created. If I had to guess, it's probably located at or near or is the special tree. Uh, that's, that's where I would think the virgence of the Force is. Anyway, but we end where we ended Episode 3. Osha wakes up back on the Jedi ship. She asks what happened. Saul tells her May started a fire, leaving out several important details. Yes. Um, so all that said... Oh, actually, wait. Before I ask you uh, what you thought of the episode, I had to throw this in. You set me up a bit. So <laughs> Paul watched this episode before I did, and he texted me some of his thoughts. One of his texts read, slightly better than the previous episodes. <laughs> so so you raised my expectations, Paul. Oh, no. Spoiler oh, alert. No. Those expectations were not met. In any case, <laughs> Paul... <laughs> Yes. All that said, what would you think of episode seven? I still maintain that I liked it All slightly. Right. Fair enough. Than the you you have the right, sir. That's yes, right. I assert my right. Okay. Yeah, there was less that I found annoying in this episode. Um, although you know, this is still five point five. I mean, you know, it's it's still this show. Okay. Okay. I got you. I guess one of the reasons this episode fell back for me a couple of reasons one it is a it's that flashback it's got it's got the kids in it again nothing against the kids as people but those kid they actors they didn't have that much they didn't have much that much right so there's less of them that's better um, yeah see i told you but also i got your text going oh it's better and i'm like all right and uh, this episode held the possibility of that elusive, you know, the clever revelations episode. Like, all the choices and actions from the first six episodes are going to come into focus. You know, that's why so-and-so did that thing. Uh, but, whew, ah, man. I almost feel dumber for watching the episode. It, it doesn't... <laughs> it's just a series of bafflingly stupid, unforced errors, I feel like. By a wide range of characters, like on both sides, but... Okay, anyway, sorry. No, uh, 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 convince me, sir. Ma- Master Soul, you know, hey, he, uh, you know why he's feeling guilty now. And, right, he know. made this choice. But, uh, boy, I got, I got issues with that, too. I mean, like, the story doesn't feel like an actual plot. Like, A leads to B leads to C. I mean, I felt mm-hmm. like in this one, in particular, this episode is just like, wouldn't it be cool if a Jedi climbed the side of a fortress? Wouldn't it be cool if a Jedi was on a speeder bike? What if a witch turned into smoke? It's like, that sounds cool. Let's just find a way to just do... There's so little justification for the actions taken. Especially Saul. I mean, Saul... Okay, so we find... He doesn't... Yeah, I kind of have a problem there. I'm not sure why he thinks these children are in danger. Right. You know, you, you know okay, they, they did this uh, uh, ceremony or whatever. That's fine, but what's wrong with that? Yep. What, you know, they never actually what, com- completed the ceremony, frankly. Or, or, I guess they completed well, they did it for May, one. For May. And, yeah, yeah. They, that's right. They did for May, but not but for She her. didn't and explode. So, or, you, you know. know, it was like like danger in that, you know, they're going to make her get a, you know, get the mark that 
the other one got? Uh, do they, do they not have like <laughs> yeah. uh, antiseptic or something? Well, see, I yeah. get infected. What? I thought <laughs> it was more of a okay. I, I, you're right. I guess there was a concern for their safety was one of his motivations. But I thought his you main know, and the whole motivation Torben just go, like going yes. crazy, like Torben. oh, here's get the kids for the conversions yes. or whatever. Yes, okay. It's like oh, you you're right. Torben and Saul in particular. Their motivations didn't seem to match the extent of their actions. Like, they, they yeah. acted extraordinarily, and we don't really... Like, with Torben, okay? He's homesick. He's a homesick Padawan. Um, Anasea uh, wants the Jedi to leave the planet, so she prays on Torben's desire to go home. That's... Okay, got it. She's like, oh, you want to go home? Well, you know what? We can get to... You can just leave. But we don't know why he'd like to go home. Other than that, it's been seven weeks, and he seems bored. Like he's not like, like when we see him using his tricorder or whatever. He's not like I have to get home. Oh my god, uh, someone's waiting for me. Uh, my father. Uh, whatever. Whatever the reasoning is, we don't know what the reason why he's desperate. Seven weeks is too much as a Padawan to be away from Coruscant. Um, and so this homesickness without well, it does he does mention though that he doesn't even see the purpose of what they're doing? Sure. And so but... you know when Saul tells him, okay, this is the purpose or whatever. So then he's like, okay, fine, let's do this. You know, I mean, I mean, it's basically like he's on an like, academic is, retreat, right? He's almost is, like a is, you go is do somebody this who doesn't like is somebody who doesn't like being outside. I'm <laughs> like, hey, I get you, Torben. You know, man, jump in that light cycle, and just go in there and get those kids and get off that damn. You know, mountain planet or whatever. He's getting his his Padawan hiking badge. You're like, all right, you spend <laughs> you spend eight weeks out in the in the woods, and you come back, and yep, you got your little check mark. Um, but I'm just saying, let's assume that there is a really good reason why it's not just like, hey, I don't really like being out here. But we don't see that, and so this it's supposed to be this inspiration that motivates him to jump on the speeder bike and race back to this coven by himself. In order to kidnap the girls, like he's gonna grab them. He wants proof of the virgin, so he's like, "They're the proof." Right. So he's gonna just, yeah. just stride into this coven, grab the girls, and and get put them on a speeder bike and speed back. Is that his plan? Because that, I yeah, mean, that sounds that doesn't match. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. And his so his actions aren't proportional to his motivation. I guess that's the best way to say it. Oh, I'm homesick. Mm-hmm. I'd like to go home. Okay, well, find a way to do it. Other, well, why would why does that make you so desperate that you do this plan, which just seems completely goofy? It's a goofy plan. Well, he does have Master Soul with him, so he could take one twin and Soul take. But the he, other, but he you didn't know? have Master Soul, Soul with him. No, not really. No, maybe until you that, that like Soul catches up with him, jumping off. That Soul is like, you know, I'll stop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, come on, come catch me, catch me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go, you know, run up the run up the side, run up of, that the side of this there. The come on, fortress. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it's that proportional thing. There are a lot of non-proportional responses to motivations. Saul doesn't have this. Have a Padawan. He wants one. Okay. I mean, keep in mind, he's from Coruscant. The Jedi Academy is a multitude of kid force wielders. Yeah, so but maybe he needs to feel inspired. Like, oh, uh, this one I feel is connected to. Okay. Not, not those other snot-nosed kids back at the... <laughs> right, I guess it's it's not a lack of applicants. He could probably, yeah, you know, yeah. find one. You know, and all the, they're all so damn young. Yeah, you know, right. Who wants to train a toddler? Oh, not toddlers. Me. Don't get me started on toddlers. So, so yeah, so he sees May and Osha using the force and then like he tracks them back to the fortress. He breaks in, he spies on them. He returns to his camp. He recruits his fellow Jedi to return, to take the kids away. He eventually kills their mom. He fails yeah. to save May and then lies about killing the mom uh, and Endara killing the rest of the coven in order to keep Osha as a Padawan. Just like, God, really? Like that, I don't, again, I don't see, it's so un, un, unproportional. I think the writers, the, uh, the writers wanted a result. Saul takes Osha as a Padawan under false pretenses. I think that's what they wanted. And okay, sure. good. Just, they didn't, they didn't spend enough time making, a, a, a convincing way to get there. It just, just felt mm. so like, why is he making that action on um, that action? Why is he doing that? 
And we didn't get the convinced as to why OSHA and or May. Of course, he didn't even he didn't even know them apart then neither, right? He's like OSHA when it was May, so yeah, it's not yeah, even he like got the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's so connected to OSHA that right. he's, you know, confuses May for OSHA. So we don't understand why, you know, again, why is she this chosen? Maybe it's something about the virgins of the forest spoke to him, but we don't see any of that, and I mean, we'd have to just no, impose our own potent rationalization for his actions. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, Asaya and uh, Coral, Coral, they're yep. so opposed to everything, even though she was, like, leading up. It's like, well, she just wanted to be dramatic. Like, you know, yeah, I was gonna oh, let word, also, yeah, yeah, but whoops, oh, which is also <laughs> yeah. pretty funny to it's a as a last thing to say as you're yeah. dying to yeah. the person who killed yeah. you, yeah, exactly. It just to be like, by the way, F you, I was gonna let yeah. her go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What a petty thing to say as your final yeah. breath, yeah. Yeah. which is pretty yeah. hilarious. It's like, oh, maybe you felt okay about killing me. No, no, you shouldn't feel. Yeah. I was going to say yes. Yeah. Once uh, Indara kills all the... Too bad they couldn't have, as a dying breath, uh, we were going to let it go too. Yeah, right. Uh, we had thoughts <laughs> we about letting that. May go as well. Uh, yeah, uh, if, if we had just talked for another five minutes. Yeah, uh, uh, we just, we wanted <laughs> the Wookiee... To free the kid. Oh, oh, that's what we tried to control his mind, but then he, he went nuts and uh, just attacked you guys. It wasn't what we wanted at all. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. So, but when Anasea turned into a mist, and then she started turning May into mist, I thought at first, like, oh, interesting tactic. Like, she's making them non corporeal in sure. a way so that they'll be like immune. To all the Jedi's attacks. Like, ah, you do what you want Maybe to us. Maybe you would have felt better by it if uh, you saw Saul's flashback when he was attacked by Mist. <laughs> right. So he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> But then she gets stabbed. I'm like, wait. Yeah. What was the yeah, point in turning? That's a great, yeah. Maybe she didn't get, uh, you know, maybe she needs to get worked up a little more. In fact, well. <laughs> That's good. And one. Became full mist. It, it's like yeah, she maybe she was half mist. mist. Okay, good point. Yeah, that's easy. Because there you're you actually go. let's assume for a second that the mist form is not immune to say a, a sword or a lightsaber attack. You're actually making yourself much more vulnerable. You're you for, mm. don't have any defenses and you're much bigger. So I was like, oh, it's a target. <laughs> Thanks for making this really easy to stab you. Um, anyway, that that was a bit odd as well. Yeah, maybe she just, you know, was it needed to get down to that center core. And he's like, well, I'm going to stab it before yeah, you get there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, don't strike my, oh, why don't you strike my uh, outer rim? My limbs? nougat. No, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're throwing out some things we didn't care for. The the lightsaber battle again was cool to watch. Good, good eye candy. That was fun. Yes. Yay. Yeah, you finally got, you finally got uh, Wookiee there fighting, Wookie, you know. Wookiee fighting with a lightsaber. Jetties. Yep, you guys finally got that. So, yeah, and then we get a completely baffling moment with Indara breaking the spell of the the coven on Kelnaka, and it seemingly yes. kills all of the the coven. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm like... <laughs> it's like, man, Wookiees are so strong. <laughs> you need, like, eight or nine people to... You know, try to wrestle, and then you know, as soon as someone stops it, boom, you're dead. Yeah. So, like <laughs> on a on a surface, it's again much like the mist, and until you see that, oh, she can be stabbed. It's it seems yeah. at first like a good tactic. Oh, you can take one of theirs off the board by controlling them, and now you got a lightsaber, and you're having you're having to have your enemy attack themselves. That's great. Uh, good tactic. But then when they all died simply because the spell gets broken, that's a pretty big side effect. <laughs> and you have to assume that they die, right? Otherwise, they should have been pulling them out of the fire. Right, great point. Okay, let's. it's almost worse if they didn't die. If they were just like, yeah, they're unconscious. Let's get out of here. They'll burn to death. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was, that yep, was close. No need to save them. They were against <laughs> us. They were, yeah. a, they were enemies. That's fine. Hey, we got one of the kids. The kid we wanted. So... It's all good. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it occurred to me when I saw them all apparently die um, that it would be one of those things where, in, like, in a video game, if this this was like a big boss fight in a video game, 
uh, the sure. walkthrough. You know, sometimes you got to you're like I can't get through this level. You go and read a walkthrough to figure out how to how to beat the level. So the walkthrough here would say like, okay, ignore the minion witches on the sides until they use their mind control on one of your group. Then when you break the mind control, you kill them all in one one go. So you don't yeah. have to you don't have to waste attacks on them. I was like wow. Anyway, so yeah, big uh, big side effect on that one. Well, then we come to the choice, which is Saul choosing to save Osha uh, uh, at the bridge. Which, whatever, it's, uh, fine. He had to choose one yeah. and he chose Osha. Okay. Sure. Yeah. But again, the execution here is like, well, first of all, I guess he, uh, it's been pointed out and probably rightfully so. He could have just levitated the girls to safety instead of trying to hold the bridge up. But well, so be it. He's holding the bridge. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, but. but <laughs> But Aww, that's so forgiving of you. Yeah, I'm forgiving <laughs> in that moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's it reminded me this this mo this was this this is actually of all the scenes in this episode this is the one that kind of got to me the most <laughs> like come on oh interesting <laughs> uh, because it it, it kind of <laughs> comes back to the kid actors again but not the kid actors I think it's the direction for the oh, kid actors. The direction should have been act more scared. Correct. There, yes. <laughs> um, but like, you know, like, it reminded me back to episode three. There was a scene where they are in, they're being in training uh, with the other witches and they start shoving each other. And they're just in the background. Yes. The witches are talking in the foreground. Yeah. In the background, they're shoving each other. And they do it so much. And so like, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, that it, it yeah, felt... Yeah. Forced and unnecessary and kind of goofy, and it occurred to me in when in episode three that it was like somebody in the director group was like, "Okay, guys, we want to make sure that the audience sees that you guys aren't getting along here, that you're you know you're restless and you're you're shoving each other. So let's just make sure you shove each other, you know, a bunch of times over the next thirty seconds. Just shove, keep doing it. Don't, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry. And they just had them shove each other, and it looked goofy. Well, here similarly. They're on this bridge. The bridge has a gap in the middle. It's being held mm -hmm. up by Saul, which I think they even yeah. know. I don't know if they don't, mm -hmm. but if they don't know, they know the bridge is about to fall. And they're like, oh. Sure. And instead of, again, they don't have far to go to get to safety. They could literally walk. It's like behind them. If they just turned and went back <laughs> five feet, they're fine. But they're no. They stand and they point at each other. And they just say each other's names over and over again. Yeah. Osha, yes. May, May, Osha, <laughs> Osha, May. And it, like, it's not something anyone would do. It's not, no. I mean, like. Well, I think Peter Parker might do it. <laughs> that's true, he would. Spider-Man. <laughs> um, I think what, it's again, this is like result-based. They wanted, like, much like, oh, we want to have Saul have to make a choice. Okay, well, the other thing they want to do is like, oh, we need the choice to be that he chose Osha specifically over May. Sure. Not just, yeah. oh, I can only say one, I'll say one. So what we need is, we need them to say their names so he knows that that's Osha and that's May. And, which is fine, again, I suppose, you know, good, you wanted that to be the choice. But do you then have the process of that be, hey kids, just say your names over and over again and stand and point at each other. This will be great. Osha! May, Osha, May, Osha. Like I went back and watched. Like, was I was I stupid? Did I hear that more than? One? Yeah, it happened. They at least three times. They're just standing there going, Osha, May, and okay. Oh, I get it now. He knows that who's Osha and who's May. But like to get to that point, to, for that to be your way of of coming of the solution to that. That's how he knows it's Osha, which I think is what happened. I mean, uh, perhaps because it was uh, so extended that, uh, you know, because they want to establish the drama of it. Oh, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Yep. And, you know, you got these two little girls who are sisters who love each other. So maybe they should have been saying more stuff as they were establishing the drama. Yeah. Osha, May. Okay, we, that's, that's that's established. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry I yelled at you. Right. I'm sorry I pushed you. Right. I'm sorry I told you. I'll tell you what, let's get off this bridge. I'll meet you at the tree. Okay, bye. You know. <laughs> nope. 
No, stand in point. OSHA, May, OSHA, May, May, OSHA. Oh, God bless. It just, I mean, you could argue that ugh. maybe they thought that this moving would make it fall even further. Sure. Maybe. No, I get it. Maybe you're worried you to move, know, but then so, but then they should have. Yeah, and they're kids too, so, you know, them running to safety. I'll say this. If I'm a kid, those, if I'm a kid on a yes, bridge that's about yes. to fall, yes. and let's say you're right, maybe like you're saying, I'm worried that if I move at all, I'll make it fall faster. I'm certainly not just going to stand upright and point and then talk to my sister. I would be like clinging to the floor or I'd be terrified. And they don't look terrified at all. They're like, I want to be with you, sister. I'll point and say your name over and over. Even though, I mean, anyway. That, that, I don't know. That's probably, that's probably not most people's irritant. For this episode, I don't think so. that was I don't... what got me from this episode. Uh... <laughs> that was the biggest eye roll I had I from this episode. Like, God, so. stop no. this, <laughs> please! Oh my God. Anyway, but it makes me wonder though if the whole reason why they had this little uh, nursery rhyme, you know, I am you, you and me, we were one, but now we're three, or whatever. The, you know, thing <laughs> it is. should be three, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a third one. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's, you know, those Jedis, it's always like, there is another. That's right. So, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Meet Terra. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she, she's better than all of them. Hey, but, you know, apparently they need to do that just so they wouldn't fight all the time. Um, they had to have a little, uh, you know, yeah. nursery rhyme. Say the nursery rhyme bond. instead of, instead of punching each you other. Think, you think that most of the time we've seen them in this show, they did not get along. It was also weird Coral telling May to, like, you basically use your anger or whatever. Go stop oh, your yeah, sister. Sure. Yeah. Maybe just let May have the made the made a dumb choice. May was like, "No, I don't like my sister leaving, and so I'm gonna do something horrible." Okay, I mean, yeah. I at least, least you know leave it they that. did the little stuff to make uh, May look less like a maniac. And that, oh, I didn't mean to start that big fire. Yeah. It was just a little small fire that I wanted right. to create. Right. Yeah. I also did love the fact that she lights the book on fire in her hand, yeah, and then is. it's like, yeah. "Oh my god." There's a fire on the book. I'm like, yes, of course there is. What? Anyway, but maybe she well, thought it would, think, it would know, crisp like, oh, and I brown. I should drop it now. And oh, oh, now I've set the floor on fire. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, electrical panel. This is going to probably blow up the yeah. whole building. Yeah. <laughs> Which it did now. So we had theorized that maybe the Jedi had done some kind of blow up the reactor yeah. or something. But no, it actually yeah. was May. No, May no. actually well, really blew up May. the building. Yeah. Yeah, so when he said you're... Sister yep. started a fire. It's, it's actually she more really true did. than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, well, that's that's a pretty See, good summation, so frankly. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because until that moment when she runs out and it's like, fire, fire, they, there was still a chance, I think, that they could have come to some resolution. But because she runs out and says fire, that makes Torben light his lightsaber. And then they, yeah, they yeah. so... So course, yeah, use your lightsaber and put out the fire. That's right. So so May really was uh, did kill everyone. Is that yeah. <laughs> as it turns out? Um, no. Saul wants to turn himself in, which you know, good on him because uh, you know, some some bad things went down because of some yep, bad yep, choices yep. he made. Yep. Uh, and Indara convinces him not to. Uh, yeah. And then not to tell Osha. I, I didn't really again get the. Oh, you would want to ruin her dream. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now that, well, you know, she is mourning the loss of her whole family. Yeah. So, know. you know, it's not like she's got cancer or something. You know, you can make a wish for her, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, anyway. I, yeah. I, I, I was not a fan of this episode. I, I, I guess I give it slightly better than three because they had a fun lightsaber wow. battle. I'll give it a wow. I'll give it a 4.5, but it's probably it's wow. one of my least yeah, favorite. Okay. It just mm-hmm. it, it was not the episode wow. that brought everything so together. So wait, the, this or 3, which one is better? I think because this has a cool lightsaber fight in it, I'll yeah. give it I'm yeah. going to get slightly better. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. All yeah. right, yes. Only that reason though, not less of the girls. Too. Yeah, the less of the girls helps, but yeah, yeah, see? But the, there you go. Yeah. And okay, you're yeah. right. No, it's a nine. Yeah. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm yeah, not even well, sure where I, it goes from here. Perhaps I was encouraged, uh, yeah, by the fact that uh, it's penultimate, which means 
only one more. That's true. I will say this, uh, of course, as I as I prognosticated last week, my theory completely uh, blown out of the water, and it was so 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 be it. But yeah, Chimera is not related to this at all. Apparently, well, as far as we know, have, as far as we know, uh, in that final episode, because that could still establish it. Apparently, a number of people putting the you know the they're like, oh, he's the father, he's the father. Uh, Chimera's the father. That's what nah. people are suggesting when it's like, um, no, that's I don't think I that's, don't think the that's idea. it at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but my guess is, and again, I'm probably wrong again, but. Um, we know May was left alone on the planet, hanging out by the tree. Yes, and yes. probably Chimera came along. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he yeah. he was also drawn by a virgence. Like, oh, there's a virgence. Mm, I'm gonna maybe, try to exploit yeah. it. Oh, who's this kid standing yeah. by the tree that yeah. is the virgence? Yeah. Oh, anyway, that maybe maybe that's what you that's what you had come up with. But who? Yeah. yeah, no, I. Oh, I'm hoping yeah, uh, hoping your prediction is right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back talking about the yeah, final absolutely. episode. You can't wait. Is it another flashback? Because then it's over. That's right. It's over. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right. Well, thank you, Paul. Thank you as always, sir. Oh, sure. No problem. We'll be talking about House of the Dragon and Lazarus Project as well. Come on back for all that. And uh, we'll talk to everybody next time. Bye. Bye.